We've engineered four different bacterial species to crossfeed amino acids. And as a result of that, we have changed how this microbial consortium behaves in different environments. In nature, bacteria generally occur in conglomerates of many different bacterial species, which is what we call microbial consortia. And those microbial consortia are able to fulfill complex tasks, like for example, our gut microbiota. As a synthetic biologist, we would like to harness those capabilities of microbial consortia, but in order to do that, we have to understand how they work and how we can control them. What we do understand is that the function of microbial consortia is determined by its composition. And the composition is governed by the interactions between the different species. Those can be, for example, antagonistic or neutral or beneficial. So we took a wild type microbial consortium that was largely governed by antagonistic interactions and we introduced beneficial interactions by engineering cross-feeding of amino acids. We saw that we changed the behavior of this consortium in different environments. Specifically, when we perturbed a species in the wild type consortium, it was unable to recover to its original abundance. But if we perturbed that species in the engineered consortium, it was able to recover. So overall, we've increased the evenness of this consortium, which is a measure for biodiversity. And I believe that understanding microbial consortia and being able to control them is the basis for engineering synthetic consortia that could one day become smart therapeutics in our gut or multicellular bioproduction factors.